Do you know, this has been my first vanilla city in a long while, and I've really thoroughly enjoyed it. But there's one thing that's just caught me by surprise, and that is how little space you get given when you're playing vanilla. So we can unlock nine tiles altogether. We've already got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I've got two tiles left that I can buy. I can obviously go out to this sort of, maybe a little bit further down here, but I had all sorts of plans for this map. And unfortunately, those plans will be coming to an end. And just before we do that, here's a word from our sponsors, NordVPN. Hugo's back and he's decided to join the circus. But he can't work out if he'd rather be a strong man or a juggler. But one thing he does know, he needs to make sure his online connection is secure and his data is protected from hackers, malware and phishing scams. Now that's where NordVPN comes in. So as it's the school holidays, we've been away for a nice holiday and I wanted to use the free Wi-Fi that they made available for us. So I'll have NordVPN on my tablet, on my phone and on my laptop. I'll just do a quick connect. So when I'm using their free Wi-Fi, I feel nice and safe. And there we go. We've got a nice connection in the United Kingdom. Uh, you can use any of these other countries that are listed here if you so desire. And then what I always turn on is the threat protection over here. So one click. And that is turned on there we go and we're protected against malware trackers and ads and malicious downloads as well so absolutely fantastic thank you nordvpn hugo loves the peace of mind that nordvpn provides him and he's ready for whatever the circus life brings his way with nordvpn at his back so go to my link at nordvpn.com slash biffer right now and get the nordvpn two-year plan with four extra months free it's risk-free with Nord's 30-day money-back guarantee. It might just be the best decision you'll ever make for your online security. This map is pretty big, and I was thinking about putting islands in the sea to build an airport on and all sorts of things, but we are almost at the level of Megalopolopolis. I can't believe we're like six, seven, eight, we're like one and a half thousand odd people away from hitting the final milestone in vanilla city skylines wow which is going to give us two well, we'll get a tile here and we've got a tile we can unlock so where are we going to go i mean i am thinking that for the next tiles let's do it in this view i might grab this one here and build down the coast because we want to get some more people in we've already got this one taken care of with the campus and the park which we've got some more work to do there we've started getting high rise in this area so we've got a little bit of well, a lot of space down here we can work on and then I'm thinking for the airport that we're going to unlock, um, I was going to put it all the way down here. But to get down there, I'd have to unlock this one and then this one. And that would be six, seven, eight, nine. That would be all of our squares and we couldn't go down the coast. So I'm thinking we'll grab this one, extend this out into the sea and have a cool airport built over here. But for now, we are going to grab this tile over here. There we go. And that is the maximum we've got at the moment. And see if we can get ourselves up to Megalopolopolis. So I really want to make sure we don't overload this junction coming through here. Because we did, we've really, you know, packed a lot of cars into this. The traffic is okay. We're at about 89% or something like that. It is constantly moving. But I don't want to hook into this section here this couplet that we've got running through i would like a separate section over here now we can't go that far down of course we're limited by the squares that we've got so we can go all the way down to here so some sort of junction i would say on this flat piece of land let's have a look we've got this overlook here overlooking the sea which is quite nice and we can build around here and try and use as much space as possible. So in this section here, I'm probably just going to put a simple one of these in because they work so well. There we go, that will do nicely. And then I'm just going to turn off the traffic lights at the top. We're going to go into here and go Bish and go Bosch. There we go. And I've put two lanes at the top just so we get a dedicated lane at least. We're still going to have people going over when they shouldn't, but not much we can do about that. Okay, so maybe let's just have a look at the terrain that we've got around here. And this is pretty high. If we can sort of stick to... 
Hmm. I'm just thinking about getting it up to this level here. Would be good, because then that's a nice big open area there. But that might be a bit of a struggle. I'll tell you what we're going to do is... Let's come out of that view and grab that. And just see if we can sort of get this up. Let's put this back on again. Get this up a little bit higher. I don't think that'll be too steep. Yeah, that'll be okay. And you know what, actually? I'm going to... I'm going to change that. I'm going to put this as a straight line through here. And we're going to make this into a T-junction. So we're going to go like this. Okay, not all of this road might stay. But this is sort of giving us a, a foundation to build from. And that can sort of head down that way. And then this can head, hopefully, straight into this. And I'm going to do it this way. Hmm. I tell you what I'm going to do. I'm actually going to terraform it a bit. So if we go from here to there, hopefully we'll get a nice smoother entry and exit. Let's try that. Not too bad. Let me just see if we can build this up a bit more. Oh man, you do love vanilla, don't you? You do love vanilla. We're going to get this. We are going to get this. Tell you what it is, is because this is up in the air, isn't it? So <laughs> Ooh, that's what's giving me the problem. Okay, I think we're, we're going to get it this time. And we have, there we go. Took a couple of <laughs> iterations of doing the land like this, but we finally worked it out. I might smooth that out a bit off camera. Okay, and we've got the traffic lights again. Let's remove those. So now we're in this piece of land area here. We can decide what we're going to do to try and get as many people in here as possible. So we've got this road going around here that we can build off and we can have some smaller roads coming up to this little overlook up here which i think will be really nice and then we can build out in this area here so this road is actually going to smooth down a bit so if we take that height there and just go from here and bring that around excellent so let's grab that road and we just wiggle that through I'm just thinking whether I want that to sort of follow the shape of this again. So if we sort of have that road out here, we can sort of eyeball it a bit. Oh, we're going to cut our power off. Let's just pause the game a sec. We can sort of eyeball it a little bit like that. And then bring that into there. That'll be fine. Let's get our power hooked up again. There we go. Temporary power. That's fine. Excellent. And then, oh, I'm so tempted just to join this road up over here because that is just going to give people in here options of whether to go through there or over there. I'm going to join it up. And I'll tell you what. I'll tell you why. Because I'm, I'm, I'm a nutter. And then if it doesn't work, we'll remove it. There we go. We're going to do that. Has that got a traffic light? Yes. So we're going to remove that traffic light. And we're going to just make that have a stop sign. And then hopefully they don't choose that as much over the rest. We're going to do that even though this is the same type of road. Yep, yeah, there we go. We're going to go with that. And then how far can we go this way? Not very far. Okay, right. Let me lay out some roads on here. Smooth out the terrain a bit. And we can see if we can hit our target. Uh, Metropolopolis. Me no, Megalopolis. Oh, and that was good timing. A quick sip of tea always helps us on our way. Okay, this is what we've got. So a nice little gridded area along here which with some excellent beach front views across to the Isle of Roy. And then as we go round here, I'm not quite sure on this area. We might work on it a little bit more. But I like these little indented areas that we could put some buildings in. Nice slopes with the connecting roads. We've got plenty of space along here and a little bit of terraforming work. 
to give us some extra space. So along here, we're going to have, so we're going to put in here a couple of different districts because like before, I'd like the houses all along the front here to be the super nice ones with their beach front views. We'll bring that one all the way around to there. Smith District. And then the rest will probably go for, let's not get too close to that one. Zonk, zonk, zonk. There we go. Let's have a look at our specialization. So I do really like the self-sufficient buildings. So we're going to have those in there. And then also these here, the organic and local produce, two of my favorite types of buildings. And then Smith District, we are going to go for mid-century modern, I think, right along the front. And I think that is going to look great. Oh, and we need to name these two districts after two of my most faithful patrons. First of all, Smith District is going to become the Thunberg District. Thank you very much for your support. And Umber Park is going to become Ratterman Park. Thank you very much for your support. If you wish to support me, you can find the link below. Right, let's get some of this zoned in. You'll notice we haven't really got a huge demand at the moment um, for residential. So this might be a bit awkward. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to individually place a load of these all the way along here. I know that first one I did was a different size. And we're going to give them all a little bit of space. And then hopefully in the middle here, once we've added a little bit of commercial and we've let this all grow in, we're going to start seeing uh, the demand for residential go up. And this is one of the big changes uh, that we're going to see in, there we go, City Skylines 2. Is you don't just plop things down. Uh, let's have that face in that way like that. Can I fit in another one over there? Let's put a smaller dog park over this side. See, we're pre-prepping this area, knowing that people are going to like it and want to move in. Um, and that is not how it works so much in City Skylines 2. You need to sort of look at what you've look at what the people want. Um, so that's quite a way to go for the high school, your elementary school. Let's just pop an elementary school in down here. Yeah, look at what the people want and then build those. But you can sort of force demand, as it were, by adding in different education levels. So there's a bit of a different sort of thing that goes on there. That is the pretty large one, isn't it? I'm going to pop that one in there as well. And then we can use some of our nice park. There we go, to add in. And I think this is going to take us over the limit. I think we're going to be so close. Let's just have a little bit of detailing in there. Nice little path going through as well. I feel like I want some sort of car park in here. Oh, is that not going to go through? That's going to go to up here, and then it's going to curve around. There we go. A little bit of parking over here, and then we're going to see how this goes. Oh, doesn't that look like a nice school there? Right, let's see how this goes. How many people are going to move in? Let's find out. Are we going to hit our new Megalopolopolis? While that is growing in, actually, what I would like to do is negate the sound a little bit all power and water i don't think we've got any of that there we go we do now yeah i'd like to sort of upgrade these over here because keeping an eye on our sound yeah the noise level there is jumping through so i'm going to grab this one here and upgrade it to the highway with the sound barrier all the way along there we go and i think once we've added a few more trees along here as well that'll really buffer the sound but that's yeah you can see that's much better than the other side excellent Right, now what we've got to do is wait for people to move in. Let's remove some of these trees. Zoink. Ooh, uh, ooh, there we go. Excellent. I think they're probably going to need to try and get this industry demand down, which I'm going to do with offices all along the back here. So we just sort of fill these in and see what sort we've got. That will also buffer the sound force, which is great. Give people somewhere to go to work. And then if you keep an eye on the demand bar, we should then see some demand for, there we go, all of our residential slowly creeping up as well. What's the land value like down here? I mean, it ain't going to be too bad. <laughs> I mean, it's not terrible, is it? It's not going to be too bad once it, once it builds up. So, yeah, hopefully that won't take too long. Let's just fill in those last couple around there. That goes all the way around the corner. We've gone all the way along to the end. Okay, we're getting there. We're getting there. When our first residential house pops in, I think I might cheer. They're complaining because there's no people around here. So the other thing we can do is give a nice boost with buses and transportation. So we've got hmm, Metro, which we can easily extend that line through to here. So let us just do that with a standard 
Yeah, there we go. That's going to go in there. A nice standard metro line. Let's go below ground. There we go. That hooks up nicely. Then we're going to grab the yellow line. We're going to drag that all the way along to there. Everybody's going to be pleased. Make sure we've got our stops in here. Everybody's leaving. Please don't leave. The stops are going to return. Oh dear, what have I done? Oh, we've got a mass exit of people now running for the bus and the tram. Yikes. They've all, they've all queued up for the double-decker bus. Double length, whatever it's called. Anyway, yeah, they'll be fine. They'll sort themselves out, no problem. Um, I'm also, I put these all with wide sidewalks along here. I'm also going to increase the land value by upgrading some of these roads as well. There we go, bike lanes for everybody, which is exactly what we need. And we've still got no residential demand. We are really going to have to go big with some offices. I'm just wondering whether this little section down here, we can sort of really try and get a hold of this industrial demand and just make this into a little industrial zone over here. It's away from everybody else. What do we reckon to do in that? Let's pop in the industrial evolution zone uh, that we've been using. And we're just going to go straight for industrial along here. I'm watching this along the highway. I wonder if we've got models that are small enough to fit in these little teeny tiny little teeny tiny zone sizes we've got. How far are we away from our target? 46. And we've actually lost some people. So we're not getting any closer to our target of Megalopolopolis, which is slightly annoying. There we go. Excellent. We do have some coming in, which is good. We can add a few offices along the back over here as well, just in this little section. There we go. And they've got no water or power. Let me fix that. There we go. All sorted. We can definitely do some detailing along, a detailing along the side here of the highway, can't we, in this little bit over here. But good, good, good. And as soon as that demand is getting taken care of, there we go. We should see our residential demand grow. And do you know what? We've got so much money. I am just wondering whether... Oh, that's on 9%. I was just going to put everything down a little bit lower. Let's just go to 10 and put that one to 10. Uh, this can come up to 12 so that'll probably make up for it and just see whether that just balances out the demand a little bit we're going to be losing some money but to be honest i really don't mind Ooh, i do love the look of those oh man look at that that metro is being well used look at all these people traveling over here to use our school which is exactly what we want to see lots of people wearing red they can't all be tourists surely standing around looking at the school that is going very well and we're going to need to add a little bit more parking around here we will get sort of parking spots pop up because of the zone that we've chosen um, but we've removed all the parking because we've got bike lanes everywhere so just a few little dribs and drabs of parking just sort of dropped around we'll sort of beef up the area as well anyway let's put one next to there then maybe a couple come on i want to go this way a couple just by the offices come on Come on, you can do it. Excellent there. That will help with the land value as well. And look at that. Even though we dropped the tax rate, we're still making money, which I'm going to keep clicking on that by mistake. I think that's the location of the tax thing in City Skylines 2. I'm going to drop these down again. We're going to drop these all down to 9. And we'll pop these up to 12. And hopefully one will balance out the other. We've got people moving in. Do we have a house pop up somewhere along here? Oh, not yet. So while we're waiting for that demand, I'd like to give everybody access to everything else via a, through, via a few, I should say, walking paths. So let's just maybe meander this one. Oh, there we go, through there. So that sort of connects these two areas up, which is good. And then I'd like people to be able to get over the top to this park zone that we've got here. So if we grab, oh, it is this one, isn't it? If we go, I want to sort of go in line with this. So if we go up, yes, we get that nice sort of covered one, which is very good. That is very high, but that's okay. And then we can go straight down into here. Let's turn off all the snapping, get as close as we can. Excellent. We'll do the same over here. Also getting very busy down here, isn't it? 
there we go so that's gonna attract hopefully some more people there it, the fact that this is so empty is making me think i've done something wrong but i really just think it is the lack of demand so i'm gonna let this run for a little bit i'll come back with you once people start moving in still working on trying to get this demand up we've got demand for all sorts of other things but not what we want so i'm using some of these little extra items that we've got here let's just pop this on here i want a little roadside diner i want the sort of thing oh that's nicely filled in over there i'm going to pop it around here actually because you'd see it from the highway and then you'd come round. and yeah let's pop that one there and there's also another sort of roadside oh it's got the nice sign so you can see it there's another type of roadside diner that i've seen as well here it is service station and restaurant is that gonna fit in there as well please fit in oh can I move it over one more for a little bit more room? Actually, I'm going to do it there. That'll be good. I don't think I can extend that road anymore, but you can certainly get off and come up there. That looks good. I'm liking that. In fact, I'm going to move that over one. There we go. I feel like I want some sort of path going through here. I know I've got prop line tool but actually just placing them sort of randomly like this stops them looking like they've all just been placed with prop line tool <laughs> so i'm going to go with that i've got a few little overlapping bits but that definitely looks a lot better like that doesn't it yep i'm liking that very nice use of that space there it's going to start getting busy in here are people moving in yet to beachfront properties with hardly any rent who wouldn't want to live there come on people I've even put some high density stuff in here as well, but they're not moving in either. Do you know the one thing that I've missed over here, which I think is suddenly going to make a big difference, is services. I've got none anywhere over here at all. Let's just use some of these little side sections over here. We're going to add one of those in. We're going to add one of these in. That will creep in there as well. We're going to add a small little... I love these little fire stations. Let's pop that round over here. New... Oh, little side section there perfect and then a police station as well we'll go with this one i might just want to squeeze that in in amongst the offices instead how is that going anybody want to move in good i really feel like i'm doing something wrong now what is going on i've played too much city skylines too i just don't know what i'm doing anymore oh wow and look at the traffic good grief now we've got this sort of main road down here a lot of people instead of going around the highway i think are cutting through down here coming through down here and coming through here so i'm just wondering whether there's a policy we could pop on here to stop people just cutting through this area i think we're gonna go for old town crest heights takes in this whole area so only residences and businesses can use the area for motor vehicles ban other motor traffic so i don't know whether that means if people are coming shopping they'd only be able to get there if they didn't use their car and to the parks but i'm going to give that a try and see how that affects it i mean it's not too busy coming through here but i can see that sort of becoming a habit but things are moving i mean 89 percent everything's moving okay have we got two lanes on the end there we do just a little bit busy there let's have a look at this junction over here moving perfectly fine this one over here very busy but moving okay there's a few roads actually i need to sort of change because i just sort of plopped all of these down and gave no thought at all to the amount of lanes we needed so i'm going to add that onto there and that onto here so we've got four lanes coming through into the smaller we'll do that one as well into the smaller areas all of these are connected all the way along here and i bet they've all got traffic lights as well they have let me just remove all of those and i'm going to turn that off as well at the end even though i put that on before just try and keep things going and then a little bit of use of the asymmetric roads here as well so we get some extra lanes going through there we'll get a dedicated lane going that way if i do that again there we go excellent i'll just do that one further might just do that one further as well and then i might just do that up to the other end but the other way Whoop, there we go and i'm going to add that one in there excellent so that should keep things going and again the, oh, and the traffic lights in vanilla unfortunately sometimes they will work sometimes they won't but more often than not just letting things go there we go look at that just let things go and they all sort of fit in 
and no problem at all. Yeah, I will grant you it is super, super busy, but it does eventually clear and keep moving. So we'll keep that. <laughs> we'll keep it all as it is. Um, I'm just thinking as well as that underground metro, whether we should now add a bus line that comes over to here. Um, let's just have a look at what we've got going on. If we do it in this view, I can have that out of the way. There we go. Excellent. So we've got a metro there. We've got this bus line that goes at the top and they all sort of meet in this central section i'm just wondering whether a bus from here around this area might actually be very helpful so let's go from outside there don't know whether there's any point putting a stop on the outside there i don't think i will and we're going to bring that can i put that somewhere where it's not going to cross over yes we're going to bring that down here yeah, there we go. That works. That gives everybody a stop there. And I'm just going to do one going in the other direction as well. Actually, no, I'm not. We're going to call that the Thunberg Shuttle. That'll be fine. Uh, that is not the Thunberg Shuttle, is it? Oh, darn it. What did I just... <laughs> Let's remove that name there. We're going to pop that name in there. I don't know what that one was called. I'm going to have to go back and have a look. I'm going to make that one sort of green. And we'll give that one... It doesn't have to be a huge bus. Um, let's go for one of the commuter japanese commuter buses we've used those before haven't we there we go so hopefully that will help oh i was just doing something else off screen and i missed it finally we've got some residential demand good grief it's taken long enough but there we go brilliant so and we've lost people along the way which is slightly annoying because i was hoping to have most of this as residential and really fill up all of our demand but that isn't going to be the case I've just been adding a few offices and a few other little items around the Isle of Roy just to try and get that demand to build up. But we are getting there. Oh, these are water wall residentials. We're getting a bit of residential over here as well. Enjoying the sea. Look at the view. And the lovely wind turbines. Excellent. Oh, we're getting there. We are getting there. So I'm looking at this thinking, where else can I just put down some industry and commercial that I just don't care about? Because I just want to get that residential demand up to hit that last milestone then i can just delete and remove all of it and we've got this section up here which we haven't done a huge amount with i mean it's not too hilly if we just sort of grab this road here what i'm thinking of doing is bringing this out like this let's go here and then we're going to curve that around and we could just pop in a huge grid on here like this aha there we go and it's got everything you need so now i'm wondering how much of this all do i need to plop down to get to the forty-eight thousand that we need to get to megalopolopolis i'm going to do a little bit of a sort of a mixture we're going to go for some commercial uh, sorry some industrial along there then we're going to buffer that with some offices then we're going to put some high density commercial run that for a bit see whether people actually do want to move in here and whether our residential demand goes up we're still making money which is good and ivy height is going to be called the area i don't care about there we go because this will be all deleted just the, the, you could have built yourself over here where there was power you muppets you muppets this is why i don't care about this area now demand has dropped things are going up i don't think it's good water i connected water I connected some water. Uh, you found a flaw in my plan because I don't care about this area. Let me give you a little tour of the mayhem that has become I don't careville. So we had this road down here. Lots of people walk in and cycling, which is what we like to see. And then we built this road here, which, as you can see, is backing up with traffic. We've got asymmetric roads and stuff in there. They're sort of dealing with it. How big did you think this had to get? <laughs> So here we go this is where we started we built this along here this thing to get what we needed turned out absolutely monstrous but fortunately it's over the back of the hill so nobody else has to care about it either apart from the big line of wind turbines 
that we needed to get this thing going um it sort of tanked my traffic a little bit i've no idea what we're <laughs> traffic wise and we're about to hit the target that we need good grief and as soon as we've hit the target that we need all of this can then go but we've got so much in here and it's just basically all thrown in just so we can hit this target that we're gonna hit after three two one megalopolis i can't I, I just had no idea it was going to take that much stuff just to hit that i thought a few buildings and we'd be fine but this is what we want we finally reached the last target the last square we've got monuments and international cargo airport and metropolitan airport i don't care bill your time is uh almost up your days are numbered but i'm thinking I'm thinking, let's have a look what options we have. So we can go out a little bit further down here, maybe build a man-made island. We could do one here. We could... I'm thinking this little bit of land here is the one we're going to get. And I'm pretty sure this is the last unlock. I'm going to get one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. This will be it. So I think this one here and try and have a couple of roads coming off of this junction or even another little, another little intersection here and turn this into a man-made island what's the sort of size that we're going to be looking at let us just take a look in here so we've got the standard little airport which is fine we've got the cargo airport which is a bit bigger then we've got the cargo airport hub which is of a similar size but then of course we've got the airport areas with all of these items and we can just make any size airport we like i think if it sort of takes off into the sea this way that would be a fantastic view for all the people over here to be taking a look at. And this little area we built over here has turned out so nicely as well. Look at that. They've got their little palm trees, their views of the sea and sand. They're overlooked by some bigger buildings behind, but isn't that always the way when you get close to the sea? Oh, man, I love this game in 4K. It just looks absolutely beautiful, doesn't it? And it's such a well-used area. So many people visiting places using the metro earning us lots of money and also if we just have a look at our oh i need to smooth some of this land out down here uh, let's just do that we perhaps still be making money i was about to say but let's just bring this out just a little bit there we go that should get rid of that that's fine all trash problems we'll deal with that um, but we have been making money and our taxes are still down at sort of nine percent for residential so we could pop that up and bump our coffers quite easily let's just take care of the truck oh we had to add all of this as well didn't we look at that that is really taken over the area i am gonna grab this road here we're gonna oh that's like a bit of a hill down there isn't it where could we pop in our trash collection which is not so much of a hill i think we're gonna flatten this little spot out over here there we go and we're gonna make use of this do we need to set it back off of a road i feel like we do we're going to go with a small road like that. That should be okay. And then, what do we do? Full-on incineration plant or recycling center? I think we've had recycling centers doing well for us. So we're going to pop three of those in there. And that should, zoink, take care of the needs that we've got, hopefully. I'm going to leave the traffic lights there. Because there's going to be <laughs> a lot of them coming out. Oh my goodness me to take care of all of that. What a nice way to tour the city on the back of a garbage truck stuck in traffic. So let me know what you think of the plan to put the airport over here. What shall we do with I don't care, Veal? Let me know in the comments below. And be here because very, very soon we are going to be having City Skylines 2 proper gameplay. So subscribe so you're here for that. Have a great day. Thanks for watching. Take care. Bye-bye.